Hello everyone. In the last few months we posted some introductory videos for Format 360 Pro, which is part of the Autodesk AEC collection. So we posted the basics on getting started, sketching, applying materials, that kind of thing. Today I just wanted to post a quick tip. So if you would like to bring in some aerial imagery to draw over the top or sketch on top of some imagery, I wanted to show you how to do that when you don't have imagery and you just have an address or a location. So I'm in a new sketch here in Format 360 Pro. I'm going to go up to the Location button, which is designated here. I'm going to type in my address. And I could zoom out to be sure this is the right spot. I could turn on satellite imagery, but I'm familiar with this location. This is the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. We're going to click Import. And then I'm going to zoom out again just to make sure I encaps encapsulate what I'd like to bring into Format. So what I'd like to sketch here is the Davidson Center, this large building here, and the Saturn V replica rocket sitting up right next door. So that's good. I'm going to click Finish Importing. Go to Top View and zoom out. So the, now I can just sketch right on top of the imagery. So we'll go to our traditional tools you've seen before. Good thing here, I'm going to turn off Snap to Grid with my settings. Make sure that's off. Place that footprint and hit Escape. And now we're going to do the rocket as well. Haven't done a circle in the past. I'm going to do that. Place it there. And then I'm going to begin moving my mouse away from the centroid. And I'm going to hit the tab key. And I know the Saturn V at the base is 33 feet in diameter roughly. So we're going to do 16 and a half because it's asking for a radius. There we go. And I'm also going to offset this face in because I have to transition and taper the rocket. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch in the plan view of my second stage of the Saturn V. So I'm going to select the face, right click, and I'm going to go to offset, which is this button here. I'm going to make sure my cursor is going inward and hit the tab key. And we're going to do five and a half feet. And hit escape a few times. Now I'm going to go to perspective view. I can pan around, orbit the, the uh, drawing here. Let's go ahead and work on the building height. It's a rectangular building, so we just need to start dragging the extrusion up by left-clicking and hold the face and begin moving it up. I'm going to hit the tab key. The building's roughly 50 feet tall. This actually has a Saturn V rocket laying on its side inside this building, actually hanging from the ceiling, believe it or not. So I could, if I'd like, continue to put in the windows or apply materials just like you've seen in previous videos. I won't do that here. Now for the rocket, just want to show you a couple other techniques. I kind of, I know my transition zone from stage one to stage two, so I'm going to select this face, drag and hold, begin extrusion, tab, and we're going to go up 232 feet, escape, and I want to grab the other face, begin extruding it up with a hold, left click and hold, tab, and we're going to go up 220. And that'll give me a chance to show how the loft command, very similar to AutoCAD loft. I'm going to run to the advanced geometry commands here. Here's the loft command. It asks to select a face or edge. I'm going to grab this edge. I'm going to hit the continue button here. And I'm going to grab the second edge. Then I'm going to loft or transition to. And then I'll hit the check. So there we have a nice transition. And I'll go ahead and offset this again with a select the face right click offset make sure we're moving inward tab we're going to do seven foot offset for stage three of the rocket escape escape now we're going to grab that face now select and drag up for extrusion tab and we're going to go up 100 feet escape grab this face begin extruding tab and we'll go up 55. And one more time, I'm going to Advanced Geometry Loft, select an edge, oops, try again, Loft, select the edge, continue, select the edge, and check to finish. 
and we could continue building that out, but we've got a nice start on our rocket. It's not perfect, but it's a nice start. We could continue from here. Sometimes I'd like to bring in some 3D geometry, either for just a drawing aid, or maybe I would like to steal a piece or a part from another piece of geometry. I'm going to just import. I'm going to file import 3D model. I'm going to bring in a SketchUp file. So I have a Saturn V that I found on the SketchUp warehouse. So I'll select open. Now I can select this rocket, bring it over, move it around. I can ungroup. It's grouped now, but I can ungroup it and take pieces of it. But as you can see, I could recreate this as closely as needed in this particular case. And then after my materials are applied and this model is where I would like, I can get rid of this. And then I can go to file export like you've seen in other videos, export locally. And we could export this geometry out to an FBX. And at that point, we could use it in other applications such as InfraWorks, Autodesk InfraWorks, Navisworks, Civil 3D, you name it. So the goal today was to show how easy it is in Format 360 Pro to go out and grab aerial imagery based on the location that we select, bring it into the program, and then sketch over the top of it. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.